Hello, everyone. Again, you meet you with Pastor Jose Collins, Senior Pastor Calvary Baptist Church here in Hawthorne, California. On today's daily devotional, I want to focus on something that's very critical. We're still in our series on crisis management. As we're understanding the crisis management is more about managing ourselves in the crisis versus controlling the external crisis. Because what I found out, ultimately, my world becomes a reflection of my inner self. So focus on that and you can always influence change better from that position than you ever could from the external. For our scripture today, we're coming from Romans chapter 5 verses 1 through 5. Here's what it says. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. And we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. And patience, experience, experience. Hope and hope make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Romans chapter five, verses one through five. I want to talk very briefly on growing through adversity, growing through adversity. See, we all face adversity, but we've got to get beyond just going through it. It's time that we learn to grow through it. Because that's the whole purpose that it is. See, success is in being able to discover the hidden opportunities that exist in every appearingly negative circumstance. There's always an opportunity before us. Life is not about what you see, it's how you see it. If all you see is trouble, then all you have is trouble. But the moment you see opportunity, you begin to recognize advancement. God wants to use all things for his glory, but we've got to turn those lights on to see it through his word. Here, this particular scripture starts off by letting us know, yes, we're justified by faith. That's how we have peace with God through Jesus Christ. But it says, whom also we have access by faith into this grace that we stand in. That's always important for you to understand the relationship between faith and grace. Faith accesses grace. That's what it does. Faith gives me access to grace. Grace, God's unmerited favor. God doing what I never deserved for him to do for me. I never earned it, but by his grace, he did it. But faith allows me to access God's unmerited honor and favor. So that's the relationship. That's another workshop we, that's very important to realize that. Now, it goes on to say, we rejoice in hope of the glory of God, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation also. Here is where we, 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 we fail to drop the ball. The Bible says we glory in tribulation also, you say, preacher, why would you glory in tribulation? That doesn't make any sense because tribulation provides opportunities. In this world, you shall have tribulation. That's a promise, but be of good cheer, I've already overcome it. Tribulation can be an elevator if you see it the right way. Tribulation can cause you to excel beyond what you've ever imagined. Look at what it says here. It says, here is why we glory. Tribulation worketh patience. Tribulation worketh patience. Through maximizing the opportunity of tribulation, I develop my patience. And patience is not just about waiting. Patience is about maintaining a good attitude while you wait. Patience is about persevering. Patience is about your spiritual stamina knowing how to hold out until the end. Patience is what requires you to reap if you faint not. Tribulation develops that very necessary component for growth and victory. But then patience brings about experience. So the only way you can get experience is by going through tribulation that develop patience. And once you gather that experience, experience produces hope. 
And this hope is what causes you to not be ashamed. Oftentimes what we fear is being embarrassed, which means we need to go through the process, which means I've got to grow through adversity. You would not be the child of God you are had you not experienced and overcame the things God grew you through. Things don't grow on the mountaintop as much as they grow in the valley. If God's got you in the valley, he's trying to grow you. And I'll close on this. We talk about our blessing is tailor-made. What God has for me, it is for me. That's all good. That's true. And it is tailor-made. But here's the revelation. What's being tailored ain't the blessing. It's you and I that's under God's sewing machine. He's not designing your blessing to fit you. He's designing you to fit your blessing. Maybe it was still too big for us. And he's expecting us to grow into it. Amen? So grow into it. Meditate on this all day. And continue to let God minister to your heart. God bless you is my prayer.